talk to Florida football. We got Jackie Franchuli on the line from Gators Territory. It's a rival's platform for Florida athletics. Jackie, how are you doing today? I'm great, Mark. Enjoying um, some nice time off, getting ready for the season. It starts a little bit earlier for the Florida Gators with their game being moved a little bit further up. So, um, yeah, enjoying the next couple of weeks before all the grind starts. Gives them the entire national spotlight, uh, along with uh, Miami, of course, on August 24th. Uh, that moves up training camp, moves up everything in the rotation yep. uh, in terms of shortening the summer. SEC yep. media day starts before the other conferences. Yep. It's going to be here before we blink. All right. Yep. Uh, recruiting is nonstop all the time, 24-7, oh, yeah. 365. Uh, there was a rough stretch there, but uh, mm -hmm. now gaining some traction again with a couple recent uh, commits. Yeah. Um, kudos to Christian Robinson, first off. He's uh, a Florida the linebackers coach, and he's done a great job on the trail. Um, a lot of people have been really impressed by him, you know, from even last class when he was able to, you know, get like a guy like Tarn Hopper on board. And yesterday he secured one of their uh, biggest commitments in um, Derek Wingo, excuse me. Um, he's, uh, he's such a, a good player um, from um, South Florida. He flipped from Penn State. He's such a big linebacker for Florida to get. Um, it was a position of need in this class and they just needed to have some momentum before heading into the, heading into the dead period. So getting a guy like Derek Wingo on board before that de dead period was a really big one for the Florida Gators. And he was the third commitment in two days for this staff. Um, they also got uh, defensive tackle Lamar Goods to flip. Um, he actually decommitted from Kentucky a few days before, and then he decided to commit to Florida on Friday. Um, obviously, defensive tackle is a position that Florida really needs to reinforce in this class. Um, he took an official visit, and you know the Florida staff has been getting a lot of knocks saying they can't close on players. Well, they did close on this player. He took an official visit last weekend, um, decommitted from Kentucky, and then a few days later he committed. So that was another big win for Dan Mullen and his staff before the dead period. And then obviously another uh, a, a very big one was they got a kid out of Jacksonville. Um, you know, Travis Johnson committed to Florida. He's a DB from the Jacksonville area. He's a great athlete. Um, uh, he's gonna, he's such has a lot of raw talent um, and just winning a kid out of Jacksonville, where it's just an area that Florida has struggled the last few years was a big win for Florida as well. I, I can't stress this enough. It's all about momentum and going into the dead period where it seemed like you're having loss after loss after loss. It, it could dampen a little bit, especially when you have Friday night lights coming up just as dead period ends. You have first practice and Friday night lights on the same day on July 26th. You're going in there now with these three big commitments. And honestly, they could have one or two more commitments even before Friday night lights coming up. That's something that we've been hearing. So a lot of good news for Florida as they head into, you know, vacations for the staff and as they prepare, you know, to face Miami next month and then two months. Yeah, I'm not uh, necessarily as big a believer in momentum during uh, game situations as a lot of people are. I think it's a factor, but uh, at the same time, when a team scores three consecutive touchdowns, of course they've got the momentum. They just scored three consecutive touchdowns, uh, whatever that means, momentum. And then when the other team scores two consecutive TDs, they suddenly got the momentum. But the thing you're uh, looking at there in regards to the recruiting is obviously the psychology of it. And yeah. kid sees that, oh, player A, B, and C, who I have a connection with, and they're similar players of similar rank. They were considering Florida, and why didn't they choose? And then he didn't choose, and then it looked like he was going to go there, and he didn't. There must be something going on here, and then that does create something that doesn't necessarily exist in reality, but then becomes a perception that snowballs one way or the other. Yeah, and, and and that's the problem that Dan Mullen was facing, you know, the last month or so. You know, just think of it this week. Marcus Roseme, a very talented wide receiver, just came out of a Florida official, and then he committed to Georgia over Florida and has yet to take an official visit to Georgia. That's not great optics for the Gators when their main competitor in the SEC East is Georgia. So perception-wise, that was hurting Florida. So that's why these three commitments that they got – wasn't just, you know, random kids saying, I'm pledging to Dan Mullen. There were three high quality kids, three very talented individuals that is boasting the linebacker room, defensive tackle room, and a DB room. These are three athletes that will fit into the scheme. And that's why it's such a big deal. These guys were high priority kids for Florida and they chose Florida. 
Um, so that's why what, perceptionally, this is great momentum for, for the Gators as the staff you know, goes on vacation and then also plans for Friday Night Lights. Because as soon as they get back, you know, Dan Mullen has SEC kickoff on, G on July 14th. And then Friday Night Lights is July 26th. And so is the first day of practice. So everything is kind of coming together real quick. And these three commitments will certainly help perceptionally and just getting some negativity off of Florida. It's been a rough couple of weeks for Florida. So this is some good positive momentum moving forward. Time to talk Florida football here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We uh, encourage you to help us build the channel. Grab the Amazon link in the description section below. Don't have to uh, buy the product or spend an extra penny, but it helps build the channel and deliver content like we are right here with the Gators and Jackie Franchuli from Rivals Gators Territory.